Would you like still or sparkling? Uh, still, please. Wow. That's service. What a service. Service with a smile. What a service. <laughs> Yeah, take the boy out. The yeah, phone. so now I'm not gonna ask you all the difficult questions. Oh, great. Oh, thank yeah. God. Thank you. Yeah, thank that's you. the plan. Uh, yeah. I'm proud uh, of you. <laughs> I love your hair. Thank you very it's much. It's gorgeous. I did it because. For me. Of, yeah. 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 I might get similar for tonight for the premiere. What do you think? Turning up with pink hair. It takes time. It yeah. It takes time. Yeah. It takes like three hours. We got time. We got time, right? We got time. I'm gonna go with pink hair tonight. You're very optimistic. <laughs> So good luck with that. Yeah, oh no. And tell me, tell me, how are you feeling before the premiere? I am feeling, weirdly, much, much calmer than I was. So recently we were at the London premiere. It was a uh, really, really fun experience, but my anxiety levels were very, very high. Um, I got off the plane to come to Poland and my shoulders just went down. It was honestly like coming home. Uh, I'm not worried at all about uh, about the response of the show here. I know that there are that the Polish people live and breathe uh, these these books um, and the games. Uh, I just am excited to see what they think and and meet the people who loved Jaskia before I even knew about them. But you know that in Poland there are so many people who have different visions of The Witcher yeah. and they will be, um, let's say, discussing it very, very, very much yeah, online and everywhere. So there will be some expectations mm. and... Quite rightly. So you don't feel anxious at all? No, I think discussing stuff is the best part, surely. Uh, I mean, there are no perfect shows, there are no perfect stories, I think. Um, uh, Mr. Sapkowski gets pretty close, but like the, the, the funnest bit of, of this kind of fandom is, is tearing it apart and finding the bits you do love, finding the bits you don't love as much, and that discussion between everyone going, oh, actually, I really love that bit. And, I, and everyone will have a different opinion, and everyone will, uh, and, and that's really important to have. Like, the world would be a worse place for it. Uh, you've read all the books? I have, yeah. Prior to, uh, to getting the role? Or? No, I, so I got the, the role, and then I read the books in about three and a half weeks which I That's don't intense. recommend because <laughs> I have no idea what happens. I, I, like, I, know, I've, I know what happens, but if someone was like, what's your favorite book? I'd be like, I don't know, what, the one with the Battle of Thaned. You know what I mean? I, which one is that in? Is that, what is that, Time of Contempt or something? Like, I couldn't tell you which one's which, um, but I absolutely adored them. And that was a big part of me taking the role, actually, was kind of going away uh, and seeing and absorbing Mr. Sapkowski's writing, um, the, the, the dark Slavic tone and the dark Slavic humour that he, that he loves uh, was, was the thing that hooked me. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm about to reread them. That's my Christmas treat. I'm going to snuggle away for a month and not see the world <laughs> and reread them again. Really? Yeah. Oh my God, good luck. Thank you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and um, how about Yaskia, the, the, the character? You mm -hmm. said about this uh, Slavic humour, and this guy is like a definition of a Slavic humour. Really? Oh. Yeah, oh, yeah. You see, I would have said that Geralt's the definition of Slavic humour. <laughs> really? Yeah, because he's the sort of the dry and the making and, and quipping in the darkest moments, but still making a little bit of light and enjoying the darkness. I would actually say that Yaskia's or at least the Yaskia that I play is, is that we've injected a, a fair bit of Britishness in there, actually. Um, like, where the Slavic humour comes from is me being, is Yaskia being the, the sort of British constantly talking, making silly jokes. And it's actually Geralt and him going, I swear to God, every 30 seconds, that to me is Slavic. Uh, but then, I don't know, um, maybe I'm wrong. Uh, well, he's um, uh, he's a womanizer. He's a drunk. He is this um, annoying person, <laughs> and uh, we we tend to have such characters in Polish literature. Yeah. Well, it's interesting you said the word womanizer. Uh, we had a large conversation about that on 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 set with the writers. There was something that I really wanted to make clear that that although Jaskier 
does enjoy the finer things in life, fine wine, fine clothing, fine company. Um, the, the stereotypical womanizer character, I, I think, is, is a little played out and um, it's not necessarily particularly interesting to, to watch anymore. We have interpreted it in a, in a, a slightly uh, stronger way. It's not that he womanizes, he just falls in love with everyone. He has such a capacity for love that he will be completely in love with whoever he's talking to and then they will say, oh, I'm just gonna go and get myself a drink. And he'll go, all right, I love you, I'll see you later. And then he'll spot someone and be like, I love them now as well. And it's not that he's cheating or, or, or womanizing, it's the fact that he genuinely just is like a puppy dog, sort of just completely obsessed with whoever is in front of him. And that was the, the direction in which we wanted to take Yaskia for all this right. interpretation. So he is a romantic. I would say so. Yeah. yeah. and. Um, I have time for one last question, and I need to ask you about the song. Yeah, well, well, the one yeah. that sticks into your head. I can only apologize. <laughs> How do you feel two days before the premiere, and after this day, people will probably sing the song every time they see you? Yeah. Uh, do you feel the pressure? No, not at all. I didn't write it, so I don't. Uh, I like Jonah uh, Alston Ali and Sonia Belusova are wonderful composers. Uh, wrote that song, um, and and I have. I mean, you think it's bad. I've had it in my head for eight months since I first heard it. Oh, I can uh, I'm in the shower, going Tarsa. Oh God, why? Um, it's uh, it's. I I love the sort of anthemic quality to it, and I and if people uh, enjoy it, then then they are perfectly entitled to. And um, if someone sings it to me, I will sing it back if I don't run <laughs> and hide. It's gonna stick to you, really. Well, I, quite rightly. I think, it's, I think it's a testament to their songwriting. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Lovely to meet you.